Hey everyone, I'm Damien Holbrook from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider, and I am so excited to be talking to Patrick Brewster about Criminal Minds Evolution. The unsub gathered followers, followers that he's now activating. These aren't just connected cases. This is a serial killing network. Just came back on Thanksgiving. We got two episodes. We're rolling out episodes every week. Uh, Patrick, this is really exciting. You're uh, telling me. <laughs> I know, right? So I, I've talked with Erica and a couple other cast members. There was a big Zoom. Uh, yes. Kind of you all got together to talk about possibly this coming back. How emotional was that? Uh, it was, um, it, uh, it was like, uh, exhilarating but also wait a minute is this really going to happen and that some of us were like well what why did we go off the air in the first place and yeah of course it's going to happen and <laughs> mostly we were just all saying yeah you know shaking our hands and like yeah let's do it let's do it let's go aj cook said that it was a very emotional uh call did who cried? Did she cry i didn't i just remember all of us being kind of like uh yeah <laughs> yeah i'll do it and then with it going to streaming, it also kind of opened up a lot of boundaries for you guys that yeah. you had originally been, you know, like things that, I mean, the show got away with a lot of stuff, but this- When it was on CBS? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was grisly. It was, there was some, yeah, there was some, looking back now, there was some questionable stuff. I know, I was because, like, is anyone uh, paying attention to what they're getting away with here? <laughs> it's true but we did listen we li we did what they said and then we had no cursing and no uh graphic uh, uh sexual content right. or uh we were we 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 did what we were told to do so we've got sicarius which of course you know when they describe why that name it's horrifying as yeah. are the first <laughs> the first two episodes of kills i'm like okay everyone got really dark during the pandemic what would your unsub name be if you were a serial killer? Oh, <laughs> I guess. Okay, I guess I would be. I guess I would be the the Phoenix Family Annihilator uh, because Prentice keeps coming back from the dead, and she will not settle down with anyone. <laughs> She's not even dating anyone, um, and yet families generations like Prentice. Mm -hmm. That's true. What would you yours be? What would Ooh. yours be? Probably the interrogator. No, oh, that's so good. That's better than that's better than mine. <laughs> well, yours, I mean, but you guys, I mean, 15 years on this show. I mean, it is literally generations of fans. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. It's 12 year olds exactly. come up to me in a movie theater or the supermarket or it's wild. And it it gathered this whole new audience during the pandemic, I think when it was streaming on Netflix, of people from like 12 to 26, like this, yeah. it used to be, we used to joke around like, oh, your grandma watches our show. Right, right. Your grandma loves us. And now it it's like, oh, cathedral. Right. your mom. And now it's, no, your nephew and your daughter and her uh, boyfriend, they all, they love it. Um, and now you have this new deputy director. Yes. Who I was, I'm not a fan of so far. I know, I know, I know, but, yeah. but, 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 but that's why he's there. And, yeah. and, and he's so good. Nick D'Agosto, yeah. who, who I had seen on Masters of Sex. He was a character on that. He's done a lot of work, but he, this guy, oh, he hit the ground running, knew every line, was invested, is like um, dedicated and excited. And he's just been, we've been so lucky that, that we've had Nick. And oh, he's just, wow. he's just a dream. We, okay. we, we right. just were so lucky to get him. Um, so Ed, when you guys all got back together, I, and it's weird because there's a lot of shows that, you know, like the cast, you know, they enjoy each other, whatever. But this is one of those shows where it is clear <laughs> on screen that you guys are having way too much fun. And directors have talked about it like, well, this is better than casts that hate each other for sure. Definitely. But, but you guys are difficult. Just shut up and let's rehearse. Right. I love this. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I was, and you're watching, you're like, oh, well, even though they're surrounded by like split open bodies and exposed spinal cords, these people are having a blast. Um, and last question before I wrap you, um, 15 years on the show, which is amazing. How many people still recognize you from Friends? <gasps> That's crazy too. What they recognize is the voice. Yep. 
Because what happens is I'll be talking to someone or in a restaurant and I see the a person next to me, they freeze uh-huh. and then they slowly turn around and they go, Kathy, you're Kathy. And it's because they recognize my voice. It's amazing. Because yeah, they cut I, my I had that short, you had this short hair. hair yeah. Totally different look. Yeah. But I will tell you the the line, you know, um, I because I know you like rabbits and I know you like you cheese. like cheese. Is one of the greatest line <laughs> deliveries in modern television. I cannot go through the cheese section of any market without thinking of that line. Oh, I'm so glad. That's great. <laughs> so you have definitely left a mark. Oh. So thank you so much. I'm so excited for the show. I cannot wait thank for you. people to watch it. Like, it's so creepy, but so addictive. Thank you so much for talking definitely. to me. And do, You guys do not miss Criminal Minds Evolution on Paramount+. Plus. Mm-hmm.